Hey guys, Eric with the Sexist Homestead, and this is going to be a down and dirty uh, recording. Just wanted to kind of show you what's going on. It's been a while since we've given you an update, and you can see I'm doing a split screen here, so I'm not going to edit anything. This is just oh. happening in real time. You oh. see, there's baby Joe, and there's baby Joe. Hey! I guess we can do it this way so he can, he can see me, and uh, I can see him. So... I wanted to touch base and just kind of talk about what we are doing right now. This morning, definitely getting uh, off to a late start on my day job, uh, running my business because I wanted to get this fence up. You can see we've got this uh, this electric fence. You got a ball? Ball. Cool. Ball. Got this fence set up. This is, um, uh, I guess it's it's poultry or really it's all purpose, but um, Premier One fencing. We've been using this a lot, but I tell you what, it is a, a royal pain going through the woods. So for the first time, I decided to come out here uh, to our easement that goes up. We've got these, uh, these high voltage lines above us. This is way back on our property. Uh, and as you can see, we've got um, quite a bit of, uh, of foliage here, right? Um, this is, this is easy, easy, easily six feet tall and super thick um, so I went ahead and hooked up the the brush hog and uh, just did a little mowing to just so I could get this this set up uh, uh, but one thing I wanted to show you is we've got all these passion fruit uh, vines all over the place which um, I've grown up with passion fruit vines but one thing I've, I've known and I've been told my entire life is that uh, we you can't you can't get the passion fruit to um, actually grow, right? You can get the vines, but you won't have any fruit. Well, we did not plant any of this, but look, check this out. There is passion fruit all over the place. This whole thing is full of, of the, the vines, but the fruit is everywhere. Now, I haven't found any that's ripe. In fact, I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna just like, dig right into this you can see um, I don't know anything about passion fruit because I've never never really been around it but but you can see how it's um, it, it, it's still real pithy and airy and um, there's no there's no juice or um, anything like that in there so um, hey baby Joe let's go this way come on come come with daddy come on let's go this way We'll go all the way around. Yeah, you can take those balls. Yeah, we'll, we'll get them. Come on. And so you can see it just goes on and on, right? So we have not uh, done anything with this, this easement property. Uh, but I think this is a great spot for the goats. And we are going to capitalize on it for now. You can see I actually mowed a path back that way as well. Come on, let's go. I'll show you the goats. Check out this passion fruit. It's, it's literally just all over the ground. Uh, all throughout here. It's all over the place. So what I want to know is in the sec uh, comment section, uh, tell me like what, what do you do with passion fruit? And um, how do you, is anyone else in, uh, you know, zone, uh, zone eight, uh, eight A, eight B, where are we? I think we're in eight A. Um, we're uh, east of Dallas. We're we're north of Tyler, uh, in East Texas, obviously. So, what do you guys do with passion fruit? And how is anyone growing it in in this area? And clearly, we have a variety that fruits, right? I mean, it's all through here. And this is, I don't know what plant that is, but that's eight feet tall, easy, nine feet. So here's the goats. Hey guys, I've just moved them in here this morning, actually about 15 minutes ago. Uh, I do not have power on this fence. It's not hot yet, but they've pretty well decided to respect it unless there's a really good reason to go to the other side. Uh, I do have, I've got a, uh, a 20 amp breaker, two 20 amp breakers, uh, not on this pole, but the one next to it, but I need to uh, drop a receptacle Hey, 
Get up. Drop a receptacle down and then I can um, heat up the fence. And you, you might wonder what they're <laughs> what they're doing here. Why they're why are they um, eating the ground instead of all this delicious greenery? Uh, it's because I I uh, called them back here with uh, a, a cup or two of sweet feed. There we go. I'm back in the frame now. So. Um, I dumped it right there, and of course they're super excited about that. So here we got, uh, got Abe and Mama Carmel and Spot. You guys, what y'all doing? You know. Anyhow, just wanted to show you what's going on. Um, can't really zoom in. Oh, I guess I can walk over there. There's some uh, some remains of a, a wild hog right there. That's kind of cool. We're gonna go fill up a bucket, jump back on the mule, and um, bring some uh, bring some water up here for the goats. And then, since I don't have any shelter for them, uh, right around noon it's gonna get super hot. So um, we'll come back out and we'll move them, uh, move them back down, and uh, take them home for just a bit, and then bring them back out in the afternoon. But they're gonna probably spend another. I don't know. I bet we can get. I bet we can get five days out of this this area at least um, you know I don't know what just happened I guess I activated Siri somehow you ready to get out please out please all right guys hey um, definitely don't forget to uh, let me know if you have any experience with passion fruit in this area um, or how do you know when it's ripe and you know, I've, I've seen stuff um, you know when it falls down basically seems to be when it's ready. Uh, so anyway, let me know. All right. Thanks guys. Uh, talk to you soon.